Hey guys, this is Hydro from X Trades, and in this video, I'm going to be showing how um, you can use the 10 day weekly moving average to stay in the big monster stocks, right? So, uh, Tesla, as we all know, was a really big winner in 2020 and 2021, and uh, you know, we'll study how the 10 day weekly moving average could have been used as a signal to buy and uh, hold on to the stock. So typically, uh, or first of all, this rule is very simple, right? It's it, when price is above the 10 day moving average, that's a bullish sign. And that's typically when you want to be buying and in the stock. And when price is below the 10 day weekly moving average, then that's when you want to be, um, or when you want to be in cash and not be involved in the stock, right? So we'll take a look at Tesla. So, um, and also before I start, it's very important that you use price context or context of the stock before you actually make these, deci these decisions, right? You want to understand if there's a downtrend line there or if there's a base forming in the stock, right? You don't want to be randomly buying just because stock is above the 10 day or below the uh, 10 day, right? So um, yeah, we'll take a look at Tesla here. So Tesla was forming a pretty long base here, right? So notice how it topped out, um, yeah, in February, and then it, later in uh, June, July time, it finally broke out. <clears throat> so, so Tesla was above the 10-day moving average, or 10-day uh, weekly moving average, got below, pulled back, got above, and then here it's consolidating, it's tightening up, getting ready for the breakout. And when it actually breaks out, that's when you want to be buying. The 10 day weekly moving average is above, or I mean, the price is above the moving average. So that's a confirmation that it's okay to be long here and it's okay to be, um, yeah, positioned and have exposure in the stock. And when you're, when you're buying, typically you can use the 10 day moving average also as a way to know what to sell, right? So if price gets below the moving average, you want to sell. And when price is above, you want to be positioned into the stock. So Tesla makes a pretty big move. Um, consolidates here, tightens up. There's actually mini flag forming there, right? It's tightening up, tightening up. And then makes another breakout move again. Pulls back to the 10, uh, the 10 weekly moving average, but bounces successfully. And then here's just <clears throat> a lot of consolidation, right? And then, um, yeah, but it's holding on to the 10 day, right? And then this is the first weekly close where it actually closes below that moving average, and that's when you want to be selling. So, um, if you bought <clears throat> all the way from here to uh, here, that's 120% gain in a pretty short pe period of time. So, it's pretty, yeah, that's a pretty nice move, right? And then here it closes below, so you want to be selling, right? But then we re but we reclaim it here, and then uh, we notice that we take uh, context of price action, right? We see a downtrend forming, so we want to wait for this uh, downtrend to be broken. So that's this is the this is the week that where it happens, and on this week, price is again back above that moving average, and that's when you want to be buying again, right? It's really that simple. You just look at when price is above the um, moving average and when it's breaking like some sort of major resistance and that's a very very obvious buy right and uh, yeah you'll typically find this pattern repeating again and again in the strongest stocks so let's just yeah get back on to Tesla so again you want to be buying here above moving average and then uh, here's where we finally close below the moving average so if you bought here <clears throat> that's another 71% gain in 90 days, so that's not too bad. Okay, next up, we'll take a look at SQ as an example. So SQ, uh, this is the 2020 low. This is the COVID low. So we, um, you know, we pull back really hard. Uh, we end up uh, bottoming here, and then we break out of this base. And this is very clearly the buy signal, right? This is the week that you want to be buying. And let's say you buy here, it's above the uh, 10 weekly moving average, so all is good. It's a, it, it, this line is basically telling you that, um, yeah, since price is above, you're good to go and you can buy, and you buy, right? And then you just hold till, um, 
yeah, you just hold till the closest below the 10 day or 10 weekly moving average. So it makes a pretty big move here okay, uh, and forms a mini flag here and breaks out again, makes a pretty big move once again, and then it pulls back in and then it finally gets a close below the average or the moving average, right? So if you bought over there and you sell over there, that is a 79% gain in 133 days. So not too bad. And um, yeah, it ends up reversing the week right after. And uh, that's unfortunate, but it happens, right? You just have to adapt. So you buy again as it reclaims the moving average. And then you see that forming a mini flag here, three bar play, uh, a three bar play. So about a very strong week. And then consolidation bar, and then it tries to break out here, right? Uh, two consolidation bars, and then it tries to break out here. And then again, yeah, acting very well. Uh, holding the 10 weekly moving average and then um, yeah building another flag here and then on that week on that week here it finally closes below but if you bought it back properly let's say you bought it back over here and then you sell here that's a 27% gain in a, uh, yeah 27% gain in 81 days and uh, yeah that's not too bad and typically, uh, you, you want to be selling into extension, so you don't always have to wait for the moving average or for price to cl close below the moving average. Sometimes you can sell when uh, the price is getting extended, right? So, for example, uh, let me try to find a good example of an extension. Yeah, I think NVIDIA is a pretty good example here, right? So, first of all, let's start from the bottom right. Here's the COVID low, and media breaks out of the space above the uh, moving average. So on this week, it's a very clear buy, and then yeah, it just trends up very nicely, right? And then closes here, so that this is where you would want want this is where you want to be selling. So um, if you're buying on this week and you're selling over there, that's a 62% gain, pretty solid. And then, um, yeah, we see that NVIDIA is consolidating once again, right? It's forming a base here. Right, and then it tries to break out here. And then it, this is the week that you would want to be buying. It's above the 10 weekly moving average, so all good here. And then it builds a, it builds a flag here, right? So here we're building the flag over here and then it continues or over here we actually uh, get pretty close to uh, closing below the 10 week moving average but we end up uh, forming some uh, yeah we form a hammer and we end up bouncing right and um, <clears throat> yeah we bounce pretty well here and then come back to the 10 uh, we come back to the moving average and then we bounce once more uh, and then we get below here, so that would be a sell signal. So you would buy um, over here, and then sell signal over here, so 40%. Again, pretty good gain, right? And then um, here we build a, a little base, right? A little base forming here, and then we finally break out. And when we're breaking out, we're above the moving average, so again, that's a good time to buy. Let's say you buy it around this area, right? And then here is where it gets extended. Notice how the notice um, how the ten day weekly moving average has a pretty big gap, right? Compare the gaps before; it's not that wide. Here it's here it's a little bit extended, but here it's definitely like look at the gap between price and the moving average, right? So over here, it's one hundred percent extended. And when you have extensions like this, and when you have a really quick um, when when price moves very quickly in one side, that's almost a, always a good time to uh, sell and take some profit or take some profits into strength. So um, yeah, over here you wouldn't have to wait for the 10, 10 um, you wouldn't have to wait for the price to close below the 10 weekly moving average. You could sell into an extension and lock or try to lock a better profit. But worst case, let's pretend that you did it. Let's say you sell over here, that's still a 21% gain. So again. The strategy works very well. You just have to be aware of um, 
you just have to understand how to do basic technical analysis right like many times here the price uh, gets above the 10 uh, weekly moving average but you don't want to be buying right you want to be buying when it's breaking out of the base here it tries to do that but fails so this would be an acceptable buy that just didn't work out but um yeah here again you try to buy and this time it actually works out it gets pretty close to getting it gets pretty close to uh closing below the moving average again here but this time it actually bounces and it works really well right so yeah this this strategy is really good for longer term swing plays for uh three or, or one to three months out uh type swing place and um, you can use them for uh, far, farther out place as well but uh, yeah you just want to be very careful you want to be sure that you're in stocks that have potential to trend for example Nvidia SQ Tesla like high growth stocks this is typically where it works the best right you want to be playing value stuff like uh, um, like let's just say Walmart Walmart is also not too bad but um, yeah, it's a lot choppier, right? So you don't get clear signals. There's no clear trend. Walmart is very choppy, but with something like uh, Tesla or SQ, you get very nice trends, right? So you want to be finding stocks that have potential to make nice trends, so high growth stocks, and focus on those type of stocks for this strategy. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys um, this week. Um, yeah, thank you for listening.